Yo, what is going on YouTube? Hope you guys are doing fantastic today. And today, we get the best day of every month. Patch notes. They're going to be nerfing all the bad stuff, buffing all the good stuff. Bad stuff as in hunters, good stuff as in tanks. We're going to have a great time. We also got Maui coming up, so hope you guys enjoy the video. All this is going to do is just make... If you don't draft enough pressure, this is going to be a lot harder to do. And if you do pull it, and the enemy walks in, you might take a little bit more damage also. From 150 to 130, decreased base health from 35 to 3,000. This is pretty big. So they make it so you can actually kill Gold Fury more as soon as it spawns. That's pretty cool. I like that. I, mean, I think that's, uh, that's a fair nerf. So basically, trading Pyro for Gold is worth too much for the Gold Fury. Starting off with kind of a, an interesting change here to the Purification Beads, right? Look, I'm a little biased. Yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> Watchbox Beads players now able to use beads at any time they're alive, including during the pre-post Pyro build. This is really big. So Purification Beads in all relics, you know, the way it interacts Holy with... with fire it we that is insane effort, that is kind of probably that. one of the biggest changes we think this might is going to make a big difference in forever in we have made it so that you can now beads that is no matter what incredible you're so anytime you are alive is right. the text well, we yeah, went exactly, with it on the yeah. patch notes it's it, there it's, it's, so yeah. you can't yeah. beads while dead so but any, dead. any other time is good yeah. anytime you've got color on your screen you know you're not on the grayscale <laughs> you're allowed to use purification beads this is a benefit for almost every god in the game yeah so warlock staff has finally become a real mainstay item in mage builds you know it got a little bit of a rework not too long ago good nerf now buff other mage items this is a spicier buff than the warlock staff nerf was does nothing that's really this does nothing Nothing. It's in. flat pen. You if it was percent, it this is OP. It. Right. This or if it was cooldown, this is OP. Dude, this you know, item is up and down and up and down and up and down. But I do think that this might be this might be a good placement for this to be rushed, especially with. Uh, uh, so Warlock's be getting nerfed. Looks like a small this might be pretty good. What? Why are they killing this item? Holy. Honestly, I think uh, I think increasing the cost and then buffing the power with it would have been pretty cool. But I think double nerfing this item doesn't make a ton of sense. It's just gonna make Xy the meta again. Xy's just gonna be bought. Xy was already bought. I still, I mean, let me think about this one. Ten flat pen. It's when it's fully evolved. The problem with devs is devs is a crit item. You build crit with devs. If you don't build crit, it's gonna feel a lot worse. I don't think this does enough. I mean, it's a buff, obviously. Like Book of Thoth is a buff. This but does it outdo trans? Does Book of Thoth outdo Warlocks? No. I mean, I guess it's only 50 stacks. Maybe, 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 maybe. maybe. This one might be relevant because physical stack them up all the way protections it's not, it's not are a lot worse. Or physical flat pen is a lot better than magical flat pen. So this might be pretty decent. What? Why? What? basic attackers that were really out in front. Why are we buffing this? I think I like the physical power requirement one a lot more. I don't like this one, though. I think I would have preferred a power buff. Hardware just feels a little bit underwhelming. Why? Hardware doesn't feel underwhelming. Underwhelming. Hard word is under which makes it inherently underwhelming because there's only two magical gods on the map. Up, it means it's a, a lot of time, I should say. I, I've got a theory. I think you and your guardian really solos with this item size, with the nice. upgrade, yeah, like, which so, gives you extra uh, protections. Little, this one, this amulet of the stronghold, of, uh, is going to be built every game in solo lane because right, well, they're going to buff Fey Blessed in this patch too. And I will, I would literally guarantee that Heart word is going to be bought every game in solo lane. I mean, this is a good, this is a good buff. 24 seconds instead of 30 seconds to get it fully. If, if you need an anti-auto attack, you mean is that? I think this is enough for Bancroft to finally not be abused. Wait, in what world is this item just now popping up? This has literally been bought every freaking ranked game. I think their data is just super slow. Not bad. I think it's slow. It took like three days after the item was made for it to be popping up. <laughs> Increased cost. I wish they went the other way with Manticore. Why are they increasing the cost? Why is there no cheap tank items, man? That's all they're nerfing. They're only increasing the cost by 200 and 100 for Fabless. That's the nerf they went for. He's already popped up. What do you mean? Have we not? Has this got not been played in SPL? Has he not been played in SPL? Is that why? It's only 10%, so it's not like it's obnoxious. But what? Why did they buff him? Now, the real one is that tectonic rift is now going to deal damage. Doesn't it doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter. Prox Crusher, Prox Heart Seizure, Prox Bluestone. Yeah, it does not matter. It does not matter. They want this character to be OP at this point. They want it to be OP. I don't know. I think this patch or this, this buff is terrible. I expect to see a good amount of Thor uh, after this change. It is yeah. God that we haven't seen. Yeah. Okay. I guess it's not that big of a deal if in the 
it is an overwhelming amount of damage. It's really oh, it's going to be. Because now that you give it damage, Crusher, give you an item proc, uh, and now Prox Crusher, Crusher Prox, Prox, Prox Heartseeker, Prox, Prox Bluestone. Blue it's always it's always it's rough the buffing Ganesh. The self-slow uh, isn't that big of a deal, but now that you have decreased cooldown, down to 12 seconds late game, he can actually use his dash to engage. Usually you have full cooldown, so this is going to go down to about a 7% or 7 second cooldown. I, I, I like this. I don't think there's any way they can f*** up an Athena buff. Yeah. There's like no way. That's DCC. fine. Yeah, um, that's an extremely high cool. Ooh, yeah, the these are two good buffs for points. Athena. I like but both of these. Really no Mitigation while channeling the ability. Like, that's nice. I like that. I like that a lot. Athena's I don't think Beach changes that, the know, meta. Do, and this will I think it just makes backliners even like, stronger. Yeah, that's nice. I like this one. The attack speed, I mean, I guess is nice. Because his third auto does a lot of damage. Yeah, they doubled his passive. Well, they cut it in half like two seasons ago or three seasons ago. Oh, was it five? I thought it was four. No, I agree. I think this is this is overall really good. Because this helps him in solo lane too i think this is a really good really good buff to her I, I like this no man tier doesn't need buffs if you're in defense stance you get 25 power i feel like tier is super like played why 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 is he getting buffs also they're just annoying to play against tier is also a character where his all of his items are cheap all his items are cheap so he gets full build faster than like almost any other character because he's a wingblade god and now he just gets get extra stats when he's in the game. Kind of like Achilles. But Achilles has to buy different items. Here to Tier late game. Tier's late game wasn't even that bad. Tier had a really survivable late game. He just wasn't a power like Uber tank. Increase being buff. Increase protection. This is really a buff to his passive. I mean, I don't think Tier even needs... I mean, Shiva even needs nerfs. I don't think this makes him a jungler. He's still a solo laner. I, I, this isn't as big as it really looks like. I mean, this is whatever. I mean, it's, it's buffs, but it's not like it's anything else. I do think he doesn't need it. But removing the mitigation on his ult makes him bad in the jungle. It, it's like tier, tier. Well, tiers you'll feel, but tier just gets a buff just from playing the game. It's not even like you, you have to do something to get to the buff. I like that. That's fine. I thought they were gonna do something annoying, like oh, extra damage to minions with this ability. I'm fine with this. This is fine. Not soul. Uh, this doesn't really do much. Yeah, she kind of just abuses mannequins. Um, and then she just has like game ability mage kit into the late game. You, you, she will not come back in mid lane. Wait, now, they're still not buffing Kronos? Bro, uh, surely uh, Kronos is dog. Shot. Why are we buffing Soul and not Kronos? I'm just curious what they can even do with Janice at this point. Increase cooldown from 15 to 13. Increase power scaling from 65 to 80 percent of your magical power. These are good changes, but I still feel like Kronos' build path is dog. So it, even though he's getting these buffs, <laughs> but no. Kronos Pennant sure sucks. I mean, I guess Desto's in an okay spot. I mean, actually, never mind. I was gonna say oh, Book I mean, of Thoughts into Desto, but then I mean, you have a nice flat bad, pen, but I'm like, maybe. Right, like, how did you but I still think uh, I still think his right, build path is just dog. On her getting a buff to impale. Please, what do you got for him? I mean, it's a nice buff. I, it's a nice buff. Really fun. Yeah. It's not like impale, overdone or anything. Like an on her gets a physical uh, power or known for physical trying. power. Keep that in mind, which is really useless compared to magical. God's Five percent. Five percent. Uh, so I think it would have been cool to just kick this up ten percent. I like that. This is not bad. This is not bad. All right, here comes the hunter buffs. Right, splinter damage. Splinter damage is doubled at level one. I swear, Crimson's problem is still just her ult. She would one hundred percent be played if her ult didn't feel so clunky. She has like the uh, the Baba problem. I mean, it's a nice buff. It's a nice buff it makes her clear better she's harder to fight into but her ult just kind of ruins her kit duration from five to six increased damage on storm shot from 80 to 85 percent increased bonus damage on strike shot i mean the main things we want it's to a buff. Is, I think the duration is the biggest thing. Storm, she doesn't uh, need help with the lane clear. That one I, th I thought, I thought um, Strike Shot was well. the two. Uh, the I don't twice. know if I like buffing yeah. her early game. That is like her, her strength. The, okay, now this is a good change. So this, this is, is actually uh, a good change. Like a this ability is like, something you actually want to put points into now. I like this. This buff is good. The beads is the biggest thing in the entire patch. A Thor is a big thing too. Mages get a little bit of love. Next also, up, a little bit of nerfs. Heartward. Heartward is actually a big thing, too. You know, oh, clean, man. Uh, the Rocks Maui looks yeah, way bigger. Yeah, this Maui looks like he's like kind of, actually like, built like and in shape. Just, Dude, he, so it's like he's surfing. He, he looks like he belongs in Smite, which I like. I know him and Yemoja get nasty. Why? What, what compelled you to say that? What can I say except you're welcome? Dude. <laughs> That's a lot of yeah, That was uh, f***ing sick. Maui is this new 
medium short range is what I've been kind of describing it as. Uh, it does hit everything in the area. You know, he's a guardian, so his basic attack damage is very low. I love that. Aggro is still an egg. Okay, you get an enhanced, you enhance your basic, and you'll see more about how to do this later on in the kit. We're just trying not to spoil it. Okay. When your basic attack is enhanced, your next basic will pull enemy guards. He's got two pulls? To so that's why <laughs> that's so crazy. So Imagine she's hitting a five-man pull she she with a basic attack. I mean, you're probably not hitting a five-man, but it's still cool. He starts to spin his hook, and it begins to grow in distance, very similar to something like Olorun 1, yeah. that it will grow as you continue to charge. Okay. But then you can hold it and walk around spinning the hook uh, and kind of keeping your threat nice and high. Uh, and then when you throw it, it will go I wonder if his is faster than Sylv's. Enemy god hit, and Maui will begin to reel them in. Uh, they are That's crippled awesome. and yeah. vortex. So neither one is a hard CC. Technically a soft CC. Technically okay. Soft the thing that makes so this better than Sylvanas' like pull is when Sylvanas throws his pull out, it has to go out and complete before he can start walking. This character can move and juke as he's pulling. It, it, it shouldn't go through walls. You can toss it. Don't do anything. Gods, minions, doesn't matter. This is a pure support ability. Anyone in that area, when the fish lands, will gain protections and movement speed. That's, That's cool. Awesome. That's cool. I like that. Maybe it lasts a little long. If an ally god stands on that water for one second, the, a bubble will form around them, and they will be transported to Maui. Uh, it is basically like putting down a Heimdall crystal for your ally. Yep, Dude, exactly. this character so is so sick. Okay, so there's a limited range. Aura radius that okay. If Maui leaves that aura radius, then it will Dude, we're two abilities down, and this is so cool literally such a good idea also to make it go automatically aggro is holy f he's so good a lot of you know your experience edge cases that the design team oh it's only one person though look at how far he can go oh he has to go that far and lassos his uh his hook around a piece of the sun and begins to swing uh he can stay up there for a swing forward back and forward um, and it isn't a predetermined landing zone. He can jump off at any point during this time. It feels so fun to use. Uh, I mean, of course he can. The, of course he can go over walls. Zone. This ability has a hard CC and a stun on the crash landing. That's right. That a is stun? Is you only get a swing forward, a back, forward. forward. That's all you get. After that, you're just kicked That's off. Really but he is untargetable in the air. Bro, imagine you invade the red buff and you just see... Maui swing away. So it's landfall, baby. You just pick a target out in the distance, and uh, and Maui makes mountains happen, uh, just like that. He leaps up, grabs the island, and pulls it up. This is, uh, I'd say, the look at you can block. You can literally block and escape with that ult, dude. Aggro literally found the coolest abilities in the game, and he's like, let's just add them all together. That is so cool. Damn, Maui looks. Sick. I am so excited to see Maui in action, see him played. I'm excited to play him too. Overall, a pretty 50-50 patch excluding Maui. I think some of the changes were great. Some of the changes were really bad. Thor, especially, I think is going to be busted. Maybe it'll be fun to see him played at an SPL level and actually seeing him first picked and stuff like that. But meh, meh, meh. But we get Maui. So I'd take any patch. They could nerf every other tank item. As long as I get Maui, all is right in the world. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. See you guys next time. Peace, peace.